As you may know, if you watch my channel, I have recently gotten into uh, shooting 22 long rifles. So I'm shooting NRL 22, uh, you know, like PRS 22 kind of stuff, and then also bench rest. Now, I don't have a proper bench rest gun, but my CZ 457 uh, and my Bergara both have a Arca rail in the front, and I've made a... Um, you know, a bag rider for it. So, uh, still playing with the two of those guns. I'll probably do a video on those soon. Uh, really, I'm kind of leaning towards the CZ right now, though. But anyway, uh, somebody on my channel who happens to do 3D printing and is into the 22 game himself wrote me and said, Hey, I'd love to send you something to, to use. And here's what I got. Uh, now, I featured these in another video a couple weeks ago when I shot my first NRL 22 match. And I've had some other stuff going on and traveling, but I haven't had a chance to do a proper review on them to show you guys what they are all about. Now, this is only two of the three that he has because he has just recently added a third case that will fit RWS ammo. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a second here. But what we have is we have one that fits the Ely ammo and one that will fit your Lapua or SK, anything that comes from the Capstone group uh, over here. Now, with the Ely, I'm not sure if there are other brands that will fit. Um, I have tried like Aguila, uh, and it's just slightly bigger than the Ely tray, so two of them technically kind of fit in here, but it's not really made for Aguila. Uh, but the Ely fits beautifully, which is what this case is made for. And keep in mind, these are not what I would kind of consider everyday 22 cases. These are really meant for competitors. And those are people that are going to be using top end ammo, whether it's Ely, Lapua, SK, stuff like that. Um, there's some of the Normas and, and RWS and, and those kinds of stuff. So anyway, how does this work? Well, he's got two pieces to this case, uh, aside from the actual case. So they both utilize a Pelican case. So they're going to be strong. They're going to be airtight and waterproof. And what he does is he 3D prints this little blue insert, and then he also makes this tray. Uh, now the tray is just a rectangle with these three separate pieces of foam, and you can see that it's divided just a little bit, and there is a reason for that. Uh, and then on the inside, for instance, on the Ely one here, you can see there is a little rib here, and that's to allow uh, the bullets to hang if you look so that there is no let me grab something to point at here but you can see that there is space underneath the bullets so when you are transporting them you're not crushing the bullets in any way the bullets are just you know doing a little bit of shaking and then the way the pad works and i always keep a couple extra trays in here just so the bullets don't go sliding everywhere but you're going to use the foam facing up and i mean i guess technically you could use it facing down but the foam does stick to the uh, to the brass and he doesn't design it that way I've done it uh, but really he designs it so that this uh, smooth surface is just pushing down on all of the brass and then the foam is cushioning the top so that when it's snapped all you're hearing is just the shaking of the rounds you know in their individual holes but it's not going to go anywhere and you're not going to have any problems with bullets um, getting damaged tops or anything like that uh, this is the, the one for the Lapua or SK ammo, and it works the same way. In fact, uh, here is a box of high-velocity match that I have. And, um, you know, for instance, uh, I shot up this Midas Plus. I'll pull that pack out in a second, but boom, just drop that in and you're good to go. And what I've been doing uh, in this case is um, just putting a tear tab off of so that had the lot number. I wasn't happy with that one, so I don't really care. Uh, but I've got the tear tab off of my SK ammo here. And, and then I'm going to go ahead and just put that underneath this. And in that case, there's nothing that says SK on it. So, uh, you know, what I may want to do is take the other side of the box here. And if I really wanted to, I could write the lot number or something. But there's plenty of room under here where it's not going to obstruct the bullet and I just leave it sitting there so that when I go to the range like this happens to be SK flat nose target and then this is high velocity match and then this one here is Midas plus but that way I don't lose track of what it is now let's say I go to a match and I want to shoot this well we all face the same problems with 22 ammo which is it's kind of a pain to get out of these trays uh, you know we either push them up with our hands at a match or maybe we dump them out or something like that but here's where his tray comes in handy 
we pull this, whoops, the foam uh, just sticks a little bit, but uh, we stick this down in here, and now each block of foam is going to lift the bullets up just a little bit, okay? So you can see that makes it easy to get them out. And the, um, the Ely one does this, or the, yeah, the Ely one does the same thing. So uh, super easy, um, not a big deal uh, to deal with. And then when you're done with this, you can just flop it out and then you still have everything there. And we can put our Midas back in and make sure that's my flat nose. I thought I might've mixed them up for a minute. And uh, those are just gonna sit in there and I can put this back in. So I'm super excited to get the uh, RWS one also because uh, some ammo that I shoot uh, also comes in the same trays as the TAC-22, like the TAC-22, for instance, that Norma makes and some of the other Norma stuff and RWS 50 and 100, which I'm a huge fan of RD RWS 100. It's just, you know, it's pretty pricey, um, so I don't shoot it a lot, but um, I really like the RWS, so I'm glad that he added uh, that one too. So I have that one on the way. Now, full disclosure, uh, I did not pay for these. I mentioned that earlier. He sent them to me, uh, but I do like to make sure that I let you guys know. Uh, but they are relatively inexpensive. I think they're about, at this time at least, they're $44, $45, something like that, with the Pelican case and everything. Now, if you happen to already use one of these Pelican cases, you can buy just the inserts, and they're really cheap. I don't remember how much, but um, I thought they were super affordable. Uh, I also recommend keeping a couple of extra trays around because, you know, again, in this situation, maybe you shoot up this one, you need a placeholder just so stuff doesn't go flying around. So I do keep a couple of these just uh, as placeholders for everything. But if you are a Sirius 22 competitor and you typically travel with about 150 rounds, which at least from what I found, that's uh, more than enough for the average match. If you go to you know really big matches, you can always get two of them. Uh, then grab one of these uh, AGS Precision cases. Uh, he also does include, I forgot to mention it, but he does include these carabiners. And what I found myself doing is when I went to my 22 match is I would load up some magazines and then instead of throwing this back in my range bag, I just clipped it on the outside of my range bag so that if I was between stages and needed to reload a couple magazines, I could easily grab it. Uh, so I thought that was another nice little feature that he added on there. Um, you know, not that carabiners are expensive, but it shows that he's thinking through the process. So um, I've got links below, so don't be afraid to look down in the description and order yourself one of these AGS Precision cases to match uh, your favorite ammo. One last thing, they are available in a multi multitude of colors. So he does like red, black, blue, um, color combinations that you can get. Uh, this one happens to be a little bit more like uh, uh, red and white. Uh, but anyway, you can look on the web, on the um, on his listings there and, and choose what you want. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good one and uh, we'll talk later.